5,500 people from 90 different nations gathered in Astana, the capital of the Republic of Kazakhstan, to discuss the global economy at the 5th Astana Economic Forum from the 22nd to the 24th of May. The event was created by Kazakhstan's president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, five years ago. Eleven Nobel Prize winners participated and addressed the issue of the global crisis. The platform for dialogue included scientists, scholars, experts, and political leaders from all over the world. They exchanged ideas, experiences, and knowledge at a critical time for the world's economic future. The president of Kazakhstan called for a partnership of civilizations to resolve the global problems of humanity. I am impressed by the conclusions of modern authors that tolerance is the most important factor for economic growth in the 21st century. In Kazakhstan, this idea was accepted a long time ago. We initiated the dialogue between religions. In a week, for the fourth time, there will be a meeting of the heads of the world's traditional religions. During the development of such a scientific approach, I announced that one of the key factors for economics to escape the world crisis is global tolerance. This is in agreement with the opinions of participating Nobel Prize winners from the United States, Europe and Israel. I think a, a large part of the problem is uh, mutual trust and uh, if you know somebody personally, if you have uh, connections with them, then uh, this uh, helps to build a network of uh, friendship and trust. The financial crisis of, of a few years ago, the, the, of 2008-2009, yes, that was a problem that was created by the United States and, and, and by Europe, even though all the other countries of the world suffered as a result. Uh, but I think uh, all countries must be involved in ensuring that that kind of crisis doesn't happen again. If the politicians are making economic decisions, and of course they are, and it's not everything they, they do, but then they, they could hope to learn, but of course you can get bad advice as well as good advice. The 5th Astana Economic Forum in the Palace of Independence is the largest dialogue platform on the Eurasian continent. The gathering was also helpful for potential investors in the region. They could receive help to facilitate projects in Kazakhstan. After more than 20 years of national independence under the leadership of President Nursultan Nazarbayev, the country offers a promising business and entrepreneurial environment. Six million square meters have already been dedicated for building projects and housing over the next 10 years. The government of Kazakhstan continues to improve the conditions for foreign investors. The political situation today is very stable. The economy of Kazakhstan is open. Kazakhstan has created a beneficial environment for investors. The government is open for the dialogue with investors. It seems to me um, the, policy, the economic policy in uh, Kazakhstan, and I also happened to visit Azerbaijan last, last autumn, uh, the, uh, the policy environment is more predictable. And that's what the investors like. They, uh, it may not be the perfect policy, but if, if you have a great deal of predictability about what's going to happen in the next five or ten years, that, that's a big thing. It removes uh, some important uncertainty. Economic growth is expected to accelerate again this year. The state budget deficit is supposed to remain stable and no changes in exchange rate policies are expected. 
The impact of the global financial crisis in October 2008 has not at all hindered Kazakhstan's success. Because of competent anti-crisis steps at the most difficult moment of world crisis, we retain the positive dynamic of development in our country and did not make worse the conditions of our population. For the last crisis year, our economy grew by 7.5 percent and we are expecting the same this year as well. Kazakhstan developed the dialogue for a G Global as an alternative to the efforts of the G8 and G20 formats. The Astana Economic Forum should be a working platform where the participants find solutions to the world's financial crisis. A new global age requires global action. I, I think we from the richer countries of the world uh, have a moral responsibility to uh, not only to listen but to do what we can to protect the, the vulnerable. Someone mentioned here uh, which is the right unit to discuss global policy and implement global decisions, the UN, the G8, the G20, uh, something more has to be. This, this is a forum that a larger number of people will come to, and uh, it's a particular and unique kind of gathering, a mixture of different expertise, and uh, people uh, will pay attention to it. You have to educate the population. It's the people making the decision. Uh, things were going very well in the United States for about 26 years. Uh, that, and there was a, a change in public opinion. In 42 sessions, the global thinkers held more than 100 hours of talks. In separate meetings, the participants of the Astana Economic Forum also learned about the subjects of macroeconomic policy, future energy, strategic planning, crowdsourcing and management. The Euro crisis was the most important subject for the international audience. The speakers called for global action and a positive attitude for all people. That is why I am convinced that the current state of affairs on the financial and economic markets will, in the long run, not be accepted in the different regions and cultures. It needs to come in line with basic religious and cultural demands coming to all nations and to all men and women of goodwill. My own view about the financial crisis in Europe uh, is that the original uh, Sarkozy and Merkel plan uh, was a good one and, and I strongly supported it and, and in fact I contributed in the debate in Greece to help the Greeks uh, bring about structural reforms and, and I did the same in Spain and uh, Italy through uh, lectures and participation in forums that have taken part there. I'm beginning to change my mind though because structural reforms seem to be taking long to have effect. And I don't think we have time. This is the only, you know, because if the rate of interest go out of any control like in Greece you don't find any possibility of reforms. Obama is worried about that, the United States are worried. China is worried because in April uh, uh, the rate of, of growth is coming up. So all the world is worried, you know, and in Europe you have a new climate, and so I do hope that a truce can be signed, but we have to do it now. Daha da derinleşmesi önlenebilmiştir. The countries which were not stricken with the economic crisis with force should also carry out an appropriate reform. The population of the countries where populism is in the foreground by reason of elections must realize that this kind of politics does not just damage their own region but neighboring countries as well. The steps and measures to be taken towards overcoming and solving the crisis are urgent now. The key is to have coordinated policies globally that promote growth and to balance that with policies particularly within the Eurozone 
that promote fundamental structural reform. In other words, I think the biggest risk for us, certainly in Europe at the moment, is that people are provided with a choice between, on the one hand, austerity and reform, and on the other hand, uh, growth but no reform. Yeah. The future is still unwritten, and young people have a right to be heard as well. Students from more than 100 different nations gathered at Eurasian National University in Astana to hear a message of encouragement from the speakers. In 2017, Kazakhstan would like to host the International Exhibition, or Expo. The candidate city, Astana, would love to gather people from all over the world and celebrate its 20th birthday once again as a platform for international cooperation.